Welcome to this episode of Cooking with Kirby. Today we're going to be cooking some chicken breast in a three quart air fryer in comparison to a video that I did not too long ago where I cooked it in my 10 quart. Now this video is pretty much educational. You know, I just want to show you guys the comparison between the sizes of air fryers and how they cook differently. Now I cook by temperature and that is something very important that you would probably want to get down when you're using an air fryer. A little history on my 10 quart. You know, when I looked up a recipe for an air fryer, I had such a hard time getting the cook down because, you know, they were probably using a smaller air fryer and it just wasn't adding up or making sense in the cook when I would use it in my 10 quart. Of course, you know, the 10 quart's a lot bigger, but you would think, you know, it has a bigger heating element and all that stuff. But honestly, by looking at it, I do not see a big difference between the three quart and the 10 quart on the heating element. They look pretty much close, you know, to the same size. It is a little bit bigger on the 10 quart, but I do notice that, you know, some cooks do cook faster on my three quart. So that's what this video is pretty much for. Just to show you that there is a difference in cooking between different air fryers. And I want you to understand that. So when you get a recipe and things don't go out the way you expected it to come out when you follow the time and the temperature, you know, that's probably something that you need to implement in your cooking is cooking by temperature. So we're gonna be cooking chicken breast in the three quart. So no further ado, let's get into the recipe so I can show you how to make it. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ringing. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. We're gonna start out by using a large chicken breast. Now I went ahead and washed the chicken and trimmed up, took off all the fat and everything. So pretty much all we're gonna do is just give it a seasoning. This is just a, a house blend of an all-purpose seasoning that I make here at home. You can use your own all-purpose seasoning or whatever favorite seasoning you'd like to use. So you just wanna go ahead and season both sides. That way you get all that flavor on your chicken. So for today's cook, I'm gonna be using my New Wave Brio 3 quart. This is the older version. I think it's called the Versatile Air Fryer now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and preheat it at 360 degrees and we're gonna set the time at 18 minutes. Once your air fryer is preheated, go ahead and put your chicken in there. For the sake of this video and a comparison, I'm only gonna be cooking one chicken breast as I did in the other video. You can cook more than one chicken breast in there. You can cook as many chicken breasts as your air fryer can fit. Uh, on mine, I think I can only fit like one more. So after the half time of cooking, I went ahead and flipped it. So I, I do that to allow even cooking. And now looking at it right here, it did cook a lot faster than my 10 quart. And I can actually see it start crisping up. So you do want to rotate it every now and then. That way you can get even cooking on the chicken. So once the cooking time is done, go ahead and check the internal temperature. You want to try to get this chicken breast as close to 165 degrees as possible. Now you can see right here it didn't hit 165 degrees, so I had to cook it for just a little bit longer. So I put it at 360 degrees and I cooked it for another 4 minutes. So the extra 4 minutes actually did a really good job on getting the chicken up to a temperature of 165 degrees. Actually, I think it cooked it just a little too much because it was on the thicker part of the chicken breast, it was close to 170 degrees. But the tail end of the chicken breast, it started to get a little crispy. So, you know, you just gotta keep that in mind. You wanna cook a perfect chicken breast and it's very achievable in the three quart air fryer. But, you know, the time is different than the 10 quart. So that's what the whole purpose of this video is. To, so that way you can make a beautiful, delicious and juicy chicken breast. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. That way you can see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comments section. And I have these three other air fryer recipes. They're really delicious. Take a look at them. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.